Syncopation. Now, this is probably the most popular book ever written by a drummer and four drummers. Uh, now, the full name is Progressive Steps to Syncopation for the Modern Drummer. I've worked out of this book more than any book, and honestly, that still isn't a lot. Let's face it, working out of books, regardless of what book, including, you know, this one, most popular, and it's so useful, but still, it's boring and it takes a lot of effort just to actually sit down and work out of them. But I think a lot of that is because people don't know how to work out of them and actually how to make it fun. Uh, so I want to work on this for, I don't know how long, I'm just gonna work on it and kind of film it and go through the steps. Syncopation, grab your, hold on. So far, grab your coffee, let's get on the kit and let's practice this. Let's go, let's go. Let's jump right into the exercise. Uh, and this is the one that I'm gonna focus on is on page 38. And again, this is syncopation, uh, full title, progressive steps to syncopation for the modern drummer by Ted Reed, an absolute genius. Uh, but anyways, and actually on the cover, it shows him on a snare drum. And that is because all of this was actually designed for a snare drum and you can do that. And it's great syncopation exercises on here. And the way I would actually advise you to start is on the snare drum so that you get those um, patterns in, memorized in your head. So on page 38, it's a very popular page to use. That's the one I'm gonna be using. Okay, so I'm gonna keep two and four on the hi-hat and the rhythm of that first four bars is gonna be this. Three, four. Okay, so it's that simple and you are gonna probably wanna slow that down if you're just starting this out. Uh, but it's a very simple exercise, but let me show how many ways you can use this because it's kind of insane. And this is one exercise out of, oh man, so many. And that actually, that's not even the full exercise. That's just the first four bars of it. And what is there, 50 something pages, 60 pages, 61 pages in this book? And every one you can use every single bar as a different way on in many different styles. So I'm gonna focus on Latin and jazz and that's because they're very syncopated genres. So the best way to do this is to keep an ostinato. So that would be basically any repeated pattern where you're just constantly playing it. So for instance, the jazz swing. That's a ostinato, that's simple. But we're gonna add in the bass and the hi-hat. Bass, we're gonna do four on the floor, bass drum, and just two and four on the hi-hat. And now we're gonna play on the snare with our left hand, that rhythm that I just showed you, which is again on page 38, and I should have it up here. So that was two times through that whole pattern, and there you go. Now, it's, it's gonna be a little hard for brand new people to this and people just really starting out on learning independence. So just slow it down and get it to that, and remember to just learn that pattern on just the snare. But now what's cool is we can, we can literally do that anywhere. So it doesn't just have to be on the snare. Now let's get rid of the snare, let's just do two and four, so the ostinato will now be on the bass, snare, and hi-hat, so you're gonna have and then we're gonna focus that pattern on the ride. And this is actually really cool because one of the trickiest things in jazz is getting your uh, ride pattern to be more unique and, um, and uh, different, I guess, because usually we're just used to, you know, normal jazz or just even easier than that quarters. But now we can do this.
now you can bring that to the hi-hat and that's going to be the trickiest especially if you're keeping in the bass drum so let's do ostinato on the ride and snare just alone and now let's add in that pattern on the hi-hat Uh, and then I'm not going to do it because I want to move on to the Latin, but you can actually then try and add in the bass drum. That's very challenging. Uh, so definitely slow it down and try and focus on that. But it's a great way. It's very beneficial. Uh, but yeah. So now let's go into Latin. And Latin is the same thing. You can do the exact same thing, but we're going to change the ostinato, obviously, because we're not in swung jazz anymore. So ostinato, you know, you have your normal... you can do here is you can keep the um you can do the same thing so you'll have a ride bass and hi-hat ostinato and then we'll do a snare pattern so it's going to be And then you can keep working through that whole page. Uh, keep going, keep going. Uh, and then after, you can change that up. And now you can keep the same thing, you know, ostinato on the bass, snare, and hi-hat. So. Now, you might want to keep two on the snare like I am there because it's going to get challenging once you uh, try and spice up the snare. But you can do, like, the normal, like, or one of the normal patterns, which would be, like, So I would recommend just keeping a backbeat on the snare for um, the Latin grooves and then you can try and spice up the snare when you want it, uh, only when you're in the ostinato. So let's try it on the ride here. So yeah, super easy, um, but it just takes time. It just takes practice and really focus on slowing it down and learning the patterns on the snare. Again, that's literally just one bar, and that alone you can learn a lot in independence, but you can go through this whole page, the next 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 page. There's so many pages, and you can do all different things. Um, and I didn't even go over the hi-hat, but you can do the same thing. It's the same idea for all these genres. You can keep an ostinato in three limbs and then try and put the patterns in the full pages and keep going in, in one hand and then switch them up. That's really it for this video. Um, you know, I could create basically a entire course on this book uh, because there's so much information in here and there's so much to work on. Um, that you know it would just take forever so I just wanted to share some of the ways that you can use this it's certainly not the only way it's not even close but I think those alone give you enough to practice for basically years uh, because you know it just keeps getting more complex and you can speed it up and try it on all different patterns uh, and stuff like that so yeah it's very beneficial and I'm basically just going to practice here and maybe show some clips of that
playing all of these exercises actually brought me back to when I was using books a lot in school and it makes me want to get back into that because you know I, I remember actually feeling a very big progression just by the weeks by the days and you know that's rare you know it takes a lot when you're playing it's it's hard to actually see your progress unless you document it but i do remember like when you're going back to the same pages and you notice oh your tempo is going up oh you're faster or you know you're more efficient you're actually getting everything so i hope this video made you guys want to work at a syncopation more it honestly makes me want to work out out of it more just teaching it and using it again um so yeah let me know in the comment section i do ask that you guys please like comment and subscribe and uh yeah i really appreciate you guys for watching this video and making it to the end let me know if you guys like this and if i should keep making videos more like this then i will um and you know it would be useful for me too because it's kind of an excuse to get back into reading music and playing out of books, practicing out of books. So, and you know, at the end of the day, this is as much as a place where I can teach people um, as it is to just kind of document my progress and get better as a drummer and a teacher and a musician. Um, so yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. So peace out.